Hi guys. Well, we finally got enough decent weather to try to do work on this fence. However, I think, uh, as I recall, I looked and I've got today and tomorrow. And then it's going to rain for three or four days. So, or at least that's what they say one never really knows. At any rate, uh, this is not my preferred fence building technique. I would have rather have had... Uh, Oh, I would rather have had nice wooden posts to go all around, but this is what I had. And uh, if you've ever built any fence, you know that uh, buying new fence, posts, and everything that goes with it gets kind of expensive. So I already had these eight foot T posts, and I went over in the woods and cut these corner posts, and it is just a garden. So. Uh, I'll try to make it look as pretty as I can, and uh, that's about it. So uh, I guess I better go back to work. Well, it's been a job, but we got it done. All new fence, all the way around the garden, six feet tall to keep the critters out. And it does look good if I do say so myself. Now, something else that happened was my daughter called us yesterday and she said some people brought us some wood and it looks like something you might be able to use for raised beds. Well, being the miser that I am, I went over and looked and there are three two befores nailed together. And I suspect that they are probably treated, but they're in good shape and we're gonna use them for some maybe rather short raised beds. But uh, they're about 10 feet long. And I think they're gonna work pretty well. I'm gonna go in here and we'll, place is a wreck, but we'll show you what we got in here anyway. So I guess these partially raised beds are going to be three two befores in height. And we shall dig down before we do anything. But uh, 
I don't know, it's a rather nice sized garden. I'm trying to think. Let's see. It's about 75 feet long and about 30 feet wide. And we'll call this the main garden because we're going to plant stuff all over the place. Yeah, got about an acre, and other than the garage and the house and a couple of rat trap looking outbuildings, we're going to plant a lot of stuff here, there, and yonder. Right over there is a pile of black angus manure that's about three years old. We'll find a spot for that. My mama had to move a whole bunch of her flowers because she had them here, there, and yonder, but I think we came to an agreement to where we're both happy. Seven minutes. Put a few onions. Green onions in here along the Order. Tell you, it feels so good to be in the garden. The sun feels wonderful. Don't know how long it'll last, but there's only a 20% chance of rain today, so maybe we'll luck out. and uh, get some things done before it rains. We've got a lot of things that we'd like to plant when they get hardened off. Well, hopefully, I'll get some broccoli planted today and some Swiss chard, maybe some collard greens, and who knows what else. Until I run out of steam. But in the meantime, we'll do what we can. Hi everyone. Carol here from Micro Home Centers. Boy, this is different. I'm usually talking about how cold or how wet it is but you know what it's hot and humid here today and I love it and I won't complain tell us about your flower I have your... uh, a lot of things going on here in my little 
side porch slash greenhouse. Is this your little corner of the world My here? My little corner of the world. I have uh, a lot of peppers. And what tomatoes. do we have right here? Well, we've got tomatoes and peppers. These are just things I'm just transplanting over. Uh, okay. We've got a lot of peppers. Yeah, it might. It might work. You got a lot. We got lots of peppers, don't we? Okay, so you you've been taking them, some of them outside to get them ready for. Yes, uh, I take them out. Uh, it's been really windy the last couple of days, so they haven't been out. Okay, lots well, more to come. we're uh, pretty much on time. Uh, frost dates what the fifteenth. So with a little luck, we can get something in a little before then, maybe. And uh, people are going to want to know why you haven't made. We haven't made a video. Do you uh, want to use your your excuse or mine? <laughs> well, I think it kind of matches us. Yeah. <laughs> we have been so busy getting a, a new fence built around the garden. Uh, a new six foot fence to keep all the critters out. Uh, we're building raised beds. We have five completed and we have about five or six more to go, but we're getting there and we'll just be planning as we go. Uh, it seemed like <laughs> the weeds came up overnight, so among everything else, we're battling, you know, the weeds, but that's just part of gardening, so that's not a problem. Yeah, and I've still got some grass I'm going to have to mow yep. before <laughs> people drive by and they... they <laughs> They may think the place is abandoned. I don't know. <laughs> but I tell you what, we're enjoying every bit of it. You know, we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary yesterday, and we both just thank God that we're still able to get out and do everything that we can and put a garden in and take care of ourselves. And it's just, it's beautiful. Well, it's so far we can... We can pretty much do everything we did when we were 30, so, uh, you know, I don't, and, and I told Carol, I said, you know, my whole life, anyone that was 20 years older than me was old, you know, so, I mean, I'm 70, now I think 90's old, so we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.